Go back inside. Go back inside. Go back inside. What? What? Why would it be? Because it would be different. Hello, I'm BP, and welcome to my channel. This time we're taking a look at this place, BRC, here in Barnsley. Let me tell you a little bit more about this company. Okay, it says here that uh, BRC is a leader in reinforcement for construction. Founded in 1908, BRC is the UK's largest supplier of steel reinforcement and associated products for concrete. So do all that meshing that you put down in between the concrete to make it stronger. With a network of strategically placed manufacturing locations where we're able to meet all your requirements regardless of the size of the project. So interestingly, all the steel reinforcement supplied by BRC is sourced from within the UK and has a recycled content of at least 98%. All steel reinforcement manufactured by BRC complies with the highest quality and sustainability standards and can be found in iconic projects such as the Second Seven Crossing, the Principality Stadium, Wembley Stadium, Merseylink Gateway, Crossrail, Falkirk Wheel and Aberdeen Western Peripheral Routes. Okay. So they supply to a lot of different customers, don't they? Right, let's get the zoom cam out and see what we can see from here. We have a security, there's a security booth there. I think the guys looked up, see me, not bothered. And we have the safety there. That is also on this bit here. It's about yard operations. All the safety is up there. That's interesting, I've not seen this before. Children at the age of 16 are not allowed on this site. Mm. Okay, and there is their uh, security provider. Oh, it is no smoking on this site. Yeah, no bad, mate. Thank you. Could I possibly ask you not to do that in the entrance and the exit because we've got like HDVs coming? I'll hear them, I'll see them. They're about four and a half ton, loads of steel on them. Do so the drivers blind? They're not blind. There you go, then should be alright, shouldn't it? It should be. Yeah, because it's a crossing. I'm, I'm asking you nicely because yeah, I'm yeah. the yard supervisor. I'd rather okay. not have anybody hurt. No, no, I understand it, but, but I'm responsible for my own safety, not you are, yeah, because yeah. you're off your site. So, um, I'm sorry, I'm not causing anybody any harm. So, I'll, I'll hear a truck coming or he'll be his own time to get out the way, won't he? So, you're right, mate. I've, I've oh, come on, safety gone daft, did it? Not safety, mate. I'm working for steel factory. It's not bad. No, you're outside on the public. I know what you guys are here to do. No, but you're on the public, though. I'm not going to kick off you yet. I'm not going to argue with you yet. I'm right. asking you nicely not Up. to block the entrance. Up. Am right. I blocking you've the... You've got high-vis clothing on, right? Right. So if you are going to stand here, put high-vis on, then the trucks can see you. No. No argument there. No, no. Right? But I'm asking you not to block the entrance. Well, well just... So as, a, as a chat, as a chat, though, do you realise how silly that is coming out to remember... So every woman who comes... Question. Every person... No, no, you're I'm telling me, you're telling me not to block this. I know you're here, and I'm not getting into an argument. No, but I'm just saying, why did you come out so, and say such a silly thing, like, please don't stand in, in, the, in case the lorry knocks you down? Why am I being silly doing my job? Because it is, because I'm a member of the public, and, and I cross many, many roads in my life. You stand in the middle of junctions? Yeah, when there's nothing it's coming. A I can do, no, it isn't a junction. It's right. a turning into your so, business. I've asked you once, can you please move the way to the entrance? If you don't, that's your call, you stay and do what you do. I'm, yeah, exactly, I've got ears, mate, I can hear vehicles. Don't be smart either, mate. Be smart either way from the job or not. I don't yep. care where you're filming or not. Yeah. But don't be smart. Well, are you, are you threatening? I've seen your films. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. You're doing it for a reason. What don't reasons? What reasons that? Don't be little in my job. Don't do I it. I never, never said you'd don't be little. Oh, no, don't I never. Why did I do that? What did don't I say? Do it. What did I say? Else. Don't be stupid. Get back to work. Get back inside. Don't argue. Somebody Go back inside. Go back inside. Go back in. What? What? Thing, it? Why would it be? Because it would be different. Why would it be? Because it would be Is this different. you representing your company? You wouldn't be as smart as you're being now, mate, would you? What, are you representing you your company? You're being big because you've got a camera on. Do you think? So if you didn't have that on, it'd be different. Well, what would you do about it? Go Is that a threat? Go wow. What an idiot. What an idiot. See, what gets me is, he said, I don't know what you're here to do, and then he comes out, giving me orders, don't stand in this roadway because you're blocking it, etc. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow, we're still bleating on.
So he basically stated there, if I didn't have this camera on, he would come out here and do something different about it. So I take that as a threat from him. Morning. Morning, you're right. Yeah, good. Need to control that animal, Jesus. Uh, it's um, he's just worried about your safety, that's all. Because obviously we do have wagons coming through, and if you have an accident, is he really worried about my safety? Come on, he just wanted to come out here to have a go at me. No, I'm not stood in the uh, way of I anything. Yeah, I didn't see it. So. Yeah. Oh, well, he was saying, if I didn't have this camera, I'd either come and flatten me, he's basically saying. So he was, he was threatening to me. Uh, if you see the video, you'll see his attitude and his bad attitude. Um, but yeah. yeah, if you can just obviously stay on path if you can. I'm okay so here, thank you. This is a public crossing, so this is where the public would cross. What I'm saying to you is, I just like to prove our health and safety has gone stupid, right? I'm a member of the public who's got ears stood in a road. If I hear a vehicle coming, yeah. I'll move out the way. Obviously, I will not block your business. You are correct. We your drivers, unless they're blind, unless your drivers are blind, then they're not going to see me. They're going to mow me down if I'm stood there. Yeah, yeah, your driver will bibby so to warn me. I'll move out the way. So there's no need to come out and tell me. No, 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 please don't no. stand on the walkway in the way. No, no just as long you know as I mean? you're safe, and I know that you're yeah. capable. Of I'm being totally safe, aware. Yeah, yeah, fine. yeah. I've, I've been around long enough. I've crossed many roads in my life. I've been long, long enough to know how to I'll be safe. I'll even get you an jacket if you want. I've one. got one in the bag, mate, so yeah. I don't need one. I'm a member of the public. Why do I need an Ivy's jacket? No, it's just that you're stood, because a member of the public <coughs> would walk past and not stop. You're stood and but hanging does, about. It doesn't and matter, I get does it? It doesn't matter. About... It's a public highway. I can, no, no. I can stand there wherever no. I like in a public highway, can't I? That's what I'm saying. That's what yes. you've got to think of. And if you're drivers, unless they're blind, which you shouldn't be driving, yeah, unless yeah. I'm if I'm deaf, fair enough. I'm not going to wear a vehicle. Good point. Yeah. But I'm not. I, I can look after my own safety. Yeah, so no, no problem. So that's Didn't what I was trying it. to get through to him. You're understanding what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, I was right. trying to get that through to him, but he's not being clever. Stop being clever. If you didn't have that camera on, and I'm like, well, what difference would it make? Yeah. So I've seen the terrible. videos. I've laughed at him. Um, yeah, well, no point in me stood challenging. You know more yeah, yeah, than yeah. me about your yeah. right study here. So yeah, but you know how we do it. Then you know we we do it, yeah. and and you know reactions like that is is just ridiculous. He said, "I know what you're doing." He said, "As well, he's seen him. He knows what I'm doing." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then he yeah. comes out here and behaves like that, and it's it's not right. Yeah. You can't have a member of a company coming out to a member of the public and behaving in, in that manner. No, no, no. you know, he, uh, definitely not. Yeah. Um, but yes, like I say, anything mm. you need as well as now. Uh, yeah. Tom, you're going to do your, what you need to do and then you'll be off to the next one. Yeah, yeah, I've got a drone as well, so I'll get some drone aerial footage as well, so I'll yeah. send it over. So. Oh, that's just be careful with port lift, that's all. I think you'll be out of the way. Oh, I'll be well, I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be well, I'll be either in your building, so I shouldn't yeah. be in way of anybody. So So is it all, it's all that sort of stuff, is that what you're doing? That's your main. Yeah, it's all reinforcement mesh, yeah. we do accessories as well with that. Um, right. As you can see, we've got, got tons, a lot. And tons. <laughs> tons and tons. Tons and tons. So he says all your steel sourced in the UK, so. Uh, it's uh, said on the website. We've got a mill in Cardiff. Ah, okay. Um, and it's more or less 100% recycled. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. We do pride ourselves as a company on uh, finite resources. Yep. So we, yep. Uh, as you still, should be. You can recycle as many times as you want. So he said, yeah, but how can you recycle? Because once you put it on the ground, you're never going to get back. Do you, do you remove concrete as well? Well, no, but if you ever, it'd be nice to go visit Cardiff. Uh, right. There's a. There's just truckloads, truckloads, truckloads of steel going in. So it's the Should steel itself that anything. from anywhere yeah. that you brought yeah. in to make those from the recycle. Yes. Gotcha. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So cause... obviously with that cycle, yes. Well, we never need virgin material, so to speak. Yeah. We always right. Keep recycle, turning it out. So you're saying that? I think it says on your website 98%. So 98% of your supplied steel is actually recycled steel you've yes. brought in. That's yeah. amazing, isn't it? That's, yeah, that's yeah. fantastic, that. But See stuff like that, which is great, isn't it? With we steel, you, like I say, you can recycle as many times as you want. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Plastic, yeah. you yeah. can't, like polycarbonate, it has a, yeah. a three or four and then you have to recrystallise it. Right, so okay. So steel's different, you can yeah. keep going and going. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Oh, that's, that's yeah, great. It's, uh, something that we, mm. we pride ourselves on being I bet you do, so. I bet you do. See, stuff like that, I mean, that's, you've seen the videos, as you say, and there's many people who do this sort of stuff. Some go out to be antagonistic and just go, on, and I'll be as nice as I'm being to you, as Pisces Pike, if you're nice to me. If he's being not nice, then, you know, I'm gonna change that way. But what I like to see, and what people will will see, is the information you're in part with me now, which is brilliant. You know, the old company, BRC, is actually 98% recyclable steel. That's, that's absolutely amazing. I mean, I've done a few uh, waste places as well. They're 90 odd percent, you know. Very little goes to landfill now, yep. which I find is absolutely amazing in this day and age. Yeah, isn't it? And that's where you want to be. Absolutely. So you know yeah. where the world's going now with yeah. recycling, etc. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it's amazing. But yeah, if there's anything else, all I'll ask is please mm. be safe. Any chance of a tour around? 
not today. No problem. That's how I always ask. Got, I've got a lot on that sort. No, for I always ask just in case you. Because I've had yeah. a few tours from people. I mean, the mask comes down and all that lot. So to be fair, you, know. you can see most of it with your drone anyway. So. Right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Just got to see inside the of the uh, things. So, oh, is, is yours going right over there then? Yeah. yeah. You go right uh, there. Wow. Right down there. Right to the end of that. There you go. Wow. Oh, wow, so right. interesting. Yeah, perfect. Good. Right, thank thanks for your time. Much. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, all right then, guys. So, yeah, you might say I was a bit tough on that first guy, but he's basically come out here on a public footpath. So this is a public road with another road going down there. Total public footpath. I'm stood in this concrete bit here. So I'm basically still on what is a footpath. If I am stood here and a lorry starts coming down the road, then he has to stop and allow me to cross. I will hear that lorry, he will see me. There won't be any problems whatsoever. But health and safety in these places nowadays, I think, inside, yes, because they don't want any um, loss of work due to um, accidents and injuries. But outside, with a member of the public, you can't just come up here and say, well, you don't step on our road, don't be stood there, because vehicles are coming. See, I've heard him come, so I've moved out the way, you know? It's as simple as that. Look at that lot. Look at that lot. Wow. Now, if they're manufacturing this stuff here, where's this come from? Interesting. That is some weight there. Now, I mean, each one of them has got a lot of weight to it. Is that an illegal load, though? Is he... Guys, what do you know about overhangs? I mean, that's quite a long overhang there. And look how dangerous that is. If I was a push bike rider and I didn't see him and I rode into the back of that, that's got to be illegal, hasn't it? Might be wrong. Any uh, wagon drivers correct me. I usually get corrected, but I cannot see that being legal, that you have overhanging all these sharp points like this look at them i would get impaled on them if i crashed into the back of him accidentally on my bike cannot be legal cannot be he's got a lot of weight on that as well a lot of weight <clears throat> would you say that's a legal load that mate is he allowed to have rang like that yeah, it's uh, 1.2 metres over and the connection. With a sharp point, though, don't you have to have something? What if I was putting my push bike? Didn't see him and I'd impale myself on those, wouldn't I? Yeah, normally it's 1.2. 1.2 metres over and yeah, your maximum over. It's about a metre we normally go over that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So where's he come from then? Because I, I thought he was yeah, making it here. Field. Same company as this. Oh, another one. Why is he bringing this here then? It's not but it's what we don't make. Oh, right, so okay. So when they when make something. Yeah. But we can't make this if you ah, right. Then, so what's the difference in that then? What's uh, just is it thinner bigger? wire? Oh thinner. thinner wire. Right, right, right. It's like we don't make that. Yeah. We mix up what Litchfield don't make. Oh so you swap them so back and forth. Right, the, okay. Top loads up. So so Litchfield then supplies people in his area and you supply people in this area. Right, right. Ah, sometimes but... what Litchfield don't make, yeah. we've still got to send it down to there, which is Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I was just talking to probably one of the boss guards, was he was saying it's in Cardiff is your main sort of main steel source, place. Yes. So is that your raw steel comes from yeah. Cardiff, yeah? Melting and Cardiff. then in there you're pressing all this stuff. It, uh, it, it melts it in Cardiff. Yeah. Uh, ah. Then the, like these, these wagons out here, they've got coil on. Oh, right, That's yeah, it comes there. as coil. Yeah, ah, yeah, it comes of course. In coil, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's raw. Yeah. And this little machine gets it pressed. Right. And then they, they come out like this on coils again. Oh, what does it it's, it's imprinted. Right. Wow. And they put it on the back of the machine, yeah. all these coils, what's been imprinted, and it goes like mm. feeds through, you know, like your sewing factories and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. They have all different lines coming down. Yeah. And they'll make sheets, a guillotine will chop it, <sighs> slide it over that. Guillotine, that was be something like a Jeez. Yeah. Then you stack it all up and put it stack in the yard and. Yeah, and all <laughs> out. We've, we've supplied more foot terminal to in Manchester. Oh, have you? Right, yeah. Lords. I bet, yeah, there's a lot of concrete going down in them have places. Yeah, for website or. Yeah, uh, yeah, do, yeah. I like, I, I like to watch them down again. There you go. Cheers, mate. Thank you. BP visits, that's great. Right. Uh, quite a few come here. Yeah, yeah. All right, okay. Oh, that's my why they know then, yeah, yeah. Well, the first guy came up. Oh, you stood over there when he came out yeah, the first yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on the break. He went a bit, uh, he went a bit funny. Just trying to impose. It's where they're trying to impose. I don't like people trying to impose rules on me when I'm stood outside, do they? Health and safety. People come with drones. 
Right. They have any soil because they have this green yard and it's not like mm. it's distract them yeah. under soil law. When they're yeah. high, they're not bothered. Yeah, I'd always be above that building. Yeah. I, won't, I won't be any lower than that. He's, I've told him the other guy that I do. I said, when I drone it, I'll be I'll be above that building, so I won't distract anybody. Not in a way. We've had a few drones, but it's not like if they're like one because they're not, not cheap. Mm. Some of them, if they do, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yard and absolutely, yeah. Like yeah, be a thousand quid there, yeah. Yeah, I mean these are pretty good because if if you lose. Um, Connectivity or the batteries, or they automatically come we've to aid. We've got one in gate. Oh, did you? We've had it for about three months now. It's only a cheap one, but ah. any young could come and say, Is the one that it's here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, a proper pile, there we go. As a drone pilot, you should have the operator ID on the drone. So if you do find one, there should be a, a number on it. That's what I mean, there's notes on it. Yeah, so it's, it's probably a little toy yeah. type ones, you know. There's no, no Mecca model on it, no number right. on it. Yeah, it's probably one of them cheaper. There's no memory chip on it, so I think it's just a... Oh, straight through, yeah, straight through okay. Too. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like I say, if anybody turns up asking for one, mm. put it in there. Yeah, but I think if they do come down, you can probably ring the police and give them the operator date, and they'll be able to get the name and address of the person who, who's registered to that drone. Yeah, you can get it, you can, you can get it back to them sort of thing, so that's what it's for, so... Yeah, cool. Right, I'll get the drone out and I'll have a little fly around. Right, thanks for the information. Well, Cheers. Well, Thank you. Okay, yeah, so that was good. So that's come from uh, Litchfield, that wagon, because they, that's thinner wire than they do here. So they do the must, must do the thicker stuff here, and then they send stuff, stuff back to Litchfield. So they're moving stuff between the two sites all the time, he said. Interesting information. I've cleaned some great information here, haven't you? That's all it takes. But he said he's had a few here, so that's uh, interesting. And if any of the other uh, auditors have been here, anybody knows who uh, watches other ones, uh, tell me if they've been to this site here, because I didn't think anybody had been around this area. Right, anyway, let's get the drone out and let's check this BRC place out. Hi guys, just to let you know my merch is now available. You've got this amazing t-shirt with a Let's Go Fly a Drone logo, or if you want, you can have a brew in one of these mugs. Have a look in my description for links where to get the merch. Let's go fly a drone. Yep, so as you can see on Drone Assist, there is no restrictions flying this area. So let's uh, go and have a look. I'm going to be higher than that, uh, that main building that's over there, as I promised. And uh, yep, let's check this out. <laughs> Well, we started here, and this is the security uh, gatehouse. And yeah, that guy never come out, but uh, for some reason, this that other guy came out. Who was was he site manager or something? He said, I don't know. Any road? Oh, look at the waybridge there. Ah, didn't notice that from here. So there's your waybridge. Let's go check out what else we've got. Oh, look at all this stock here. Look, wow. Yeah, there's some steel work there, guys, isn't there? I think this was the uh, vehicle from Litchfield. He's just waiting there to get unloaded, I guess. I'm going further around. A little bit high, just um, definitely above that building. Should be now. It's 30 meters. Right, well, so look all this lot. Ah, is that uh, forklift? Oh, just well, he's, yeah, he's, no, he's, oh, he's just put some there, I think, can he? I bet they're uh, pretty tough forklifts, them, aren't they? Because they've got to lift some weight here. Now, the colours here, are these uh, either galvanised or are they new? They're just different types of meshing, I think, aren't they? Hmm. Yeah, probably are galvanised. I'm assuming the ones next to it here are not. They're steel, so they're rusting a little bit because I've been outside. Moving on. Loads and loads of stock here. Look at all this lot. Wow. Oh, what are these pipes? Ah, right, so this is the raw material. Ah, because he mentioned that, didn't he? So this will be the uh, coils of cable which is the raw material used to make this stuff with. Oh, what's at the back there? Loads of cable drums, look at that. Dumping ground for our cable drums. <laughs> Loads. Oh, what's these? I wish this screen was bigger sometimes, just can't make out what those are. 
I did see, he did say accessories, didn't he? So they must maybe be parts to join together or edgings or something, I don't know. Oh, look at the size of the factory, look at that, it's quite big that, isn't it? Four buildings there, look, all joined together. We've got this little outer bit here. Now this forklift truck is uh, just unloading him, look. Ah, raw material. They've got a lot of raw material. Look at all that lot. We've got orders to uh, to need it all. Right, what we're going to do is going to go just around the back edge here. And back out to the main road. That looks like uh, the big office block, so I would think that's where that guy first came from. Not sure that uh, logo is there though, look. Hmm. Hmm. Anybody knows what that logo is? I've seen it on the sign. Just look to their sign here. That's the Celsa Group. C E L S A, Celsa Group. So it must be part of that. Come back down the front side. Now then, can we see any electric car charging? Can't see any down there. Nothing down there. I'm going to say no electric car charging, unfortunately. And as we've already seen, there's no solar panels on the roof. So we do have recycling over here. And oh, what's that? Does it look like? Pretty good. It's a good picture. That's a good picture, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Wow. HD. Look at that. Look. Yeah, you got a lot of stock. Look at that. <laughs> What's the range on that then? Um, it's, it's probably about a couple of hundred, three, three hundred meters or something okay. before, before you start sort of lose. But he's got a line of sight, you know, so he should know where it is. But yeah, being right in the back. So it's stable, isn't it? Oh, very, very. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's um, well, it's, it's similar to this. I've got the, I've got this is a pocket version. It's got, it's got on these gimbals on. Yeah. So this, this gimbal here, when I power it up, oh, see, right. I can. I can oh, keep it's like, a it's like that, yeah. Keep stability. That's exactly the same as what's in the drone. You so see. like now, you've ignored it for a bit, so it, it'll really just hover there. Really? It'll just stay exactly where you left it, yeah. Really? And if the battery starts running now, it'll come back to where it took off from it's and land. Yeah. Very good, isn't it? We used to have one years ago. How oh, did you? We used to use the one at base there, but it went off. It weren't as yeah. fancy as that. It yeah. gets stuck on crane so many times. <laughs> did it crash it so many times? But. Yeah. Well, the next level up front. This is the uh, Mini Three. The Mini Three Pro mm. has got sensors in it. So if there's something like beep, 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 and it'll go around. Oh, so it won't crash into it. That's so yeah. That is clever. Yeah, I get him very, very good. Yeah. This has got sort of ground sensors on, so it starts beeping if it's low, and then it knows it's coming into land, you see. Right. So, yeah, but yeah, normally you'll have it's sensors like that. So you can, you can alter the, you can, yeah, you can alter the camera to point straight down. So it's directly above, there it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, you can see it. In the wind today, is it pretty stable? It's not bad, yeah, about 25 yeah. miles an hour it'll do. Really? So it'll, it'll all, because you've got GPS, so it's, I'm not too, that'll stay in that position now until the battery runs out. Because right. the GPS holds it in that position. Exactly. Sometimes if the wind's a bit too much, I've had it start just moving away slightly. Yeah. So I've had to bring it back down because it's too high. Because sometimes you go high, it's windier. Mm. So you can bring it back down, it's not so bad then. You get, you get full really control. Oh, yeah, they're absolutely brilliant, yeah. Yeah, you can just spin them right round, you know, get a full, full 360 round like that. But the speed of it as well, so, I mean, I'm on, I'm on slow. If I put it onto sports mode now, and if I go on, zoom it, just coming down a bit. If you zoom, zoom backwards, it's better if I come towards you, you'll see. So, so if I now zoom towards us now, you know, because speed of that. That is a path to do. I don't have to go. So little, I can't believe how steady it is. But you can see how it's, if I do it, it's angling down, angling up as I'm speeding it, isn't yeah. it? But look, if I just do them same movements, say, if you watch the screen, that's hardly moving. Because yeah. that gimbal yeah. is just yeah, keeping it square. Yeah. yeah, very, very clever, isn't it? Yeah. I like it. Yeah, no, a great, great big kit. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, right. back on. Ah, no worries, mate. Yeah, yeah, cheers. Okay, let's get to the middle and let's do a 360 of the area. You right. Better than mine. Ah, oh, what you got? I've just got one of them uh, uh, DJI ones. That's a DJI? That's, that's a Mini 3? Oh, I don't know what it is. Right. Um, 
But yeah, if it's got wind, it just blows it. Oh, does it really? It's gone. Oh, 25 miles an hour, this is good for. Look, it'll just right. stay there on the GPS. Does yours auto land and all that, though? Yeah, I could press button yeah. on phone, right, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so, any instance I have to report okay. to HR and uh, my regional ops manager. Okay, yeah. HR have come back and asked if, obviously, if you're over site yeah. and it falls and damages somebody, you'll cover yeah. by public liability. I am, yes, I've got, I've got public liability. Have, yes, you got, yeah. can I, have you got a copy of it? Well, it's a bit like driving a case here. I don't have to give him insurance until, until oh, something happens, you know what I mean? So if it crashed, then I'd come and see you. I wouldn't run away, I'd come yeah. and see you. So, so one of the guys in there has got my car. Yeah, I've got, yeah, I've got a million, million pounds public liability. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm com million, competent, yeah. yeah. A competent drone flyer, so you know, I, I wouldn't do it without You don't have to have I it know, with a drone. I know you wouldn't put yourself yeah. it. But yeah, but you don't have to have it. Anything. You don't have to have it, but it's, it, you know what? I'm thinking, because it could happen. It's yeah. very rare it does, but it could, something could happen. So you know what, let's, let's be covered. Yeah. And then I'm not gonna, you know, it shouldn't be a problem for yourself. So if anything happens, I'll be straight in there. I'll give you my details and we'll go from yep. there, you know what I mean? So the question then is go on then. your public liability. Yeah. Did you have you claim you, the, the, this is what you're doing with drone and that's what you need the liability for? Or do you just get you a don't have to really one? it's a general one, yeah, yeah. So any damage caused by that's that drone. Right. It's all right, because I'm struggling for mine actually because I, I really a, I hire a motor home out. Okay. Yeah. I can't get any for it. Because right. in case somebody hits the cells with cupboard or oh, cupboard right. swings open and it, so I just want <laughs> myself covered right. as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, some public liability. This, this is special. It's drone. I think it's called drone cover or something. Oh, it's, right. a, it's a special one for drones, so they know that people flying them all over buildings, all over stuff. So it covers everything, you know. Yep. So it's pretty good. It's just a general public liability insurance. That's all. You don't have to detail exactly what you're doing with it. So that's it, really. Right. So, okay. Hmm. All good. Cool. That's all. That's all. That's no, perfect. Perfect. Right, thank thank you, you very much. Cheers. Man, a great set. He's a really good guy, isn't he? So I like him. He's been really good. So he's, he's, he talked to HR, said someone's flying a drone, and they've said, well, they need public liability, so he's come out and checked in. Yes, I have. Right, let's get over to the middle here, and let's go up high and do a 360 of the area. Right, let's get back and see if we get the whole place in one shot. Right, let's get the drone back and finish this one up. So there we go, that was BRC, which is, well, it started off a bit uh, rough, didn't it, with that guy there um, <laughs> wanting to have a go at me. But uh, then what looked like a manager or a boss came out, whatever, and uh, yeah, he smoothed it all. I've got some great information from one of the employees and that manager. So let's give this one a score then, and let's move on to the next one. Thank you. 